Hi everyone, this is William from Montreal. I want to thank you for the time you're spending to watch this go live today. Today we're going to be having another guest to our regular go live. Um, if you're visiting this web page, this is my business page. If you're visiting for the first time, thank you. Thank you for your time. And I just want to say that um, we are a community of business owners. We help people to start up a legitimate, successful online business. And today we're going to be speaking to one of the uh, business partners. She's going to be sharing her story and why she got into this business. So I hope you're inspired by her story. So I'm going to bring her on the screen. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Will. How are you? Good, good, good. Thanks for taking the time. I know you're oh. busy, out of your busy schedule to uh, <laughs> join me in this go live. Yes, it was tight, <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> great, great. Can you just introduce yourself to our listeners, please? Of course. So my name is uh, Andrea, and as you can see also on the screen, I'm a mom of four kids. I am a nurse by education, but uh, right now I work in the insurance field. And I lived in I don't know how many different countries, four or five different countries. I speak about four languages, and the nice. list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great, great, great. So what happened that made you decide to start looking for a plan B? You know, it's interesting because for me, plan B was always there. I just, it's been maybe since I was even 17, 18, 19. I think we all have these like big dreams. We yeah. finish high school and we think that's it. We'll make it in our lives, right? <laughs> and before you know it, you're caught into that. Some people call it like a, a, a rat race. You keep going, you go to work and, and you know, and, and, and you realize, you know, maybe the first 10 years you're like, that's okay. You know, I can go through it. And then by the time I got to my 40s, I was like, I think I'm ready for a change. I want something different. I don't want to have that. Not everybody has it, but Monday to Friday, work nine to five is the cliche, but that's what I had and not spending time with the family. So for me, um, that's pretty much what was driving me for many, many years to mm -hmm. look for something. Something will fall into my lap. And something yeah. did fall into my lap, so which is nice. the business we're doing together, right? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah. It's um, sometimes it's not something we I expecting, but yes. eventually comes. Yeah. You know, one thing I right always. Time. Yeah, yeah. One thing I always say is, when the time comes, you know, the business will show up, or exactly. whatever you are hoping to achieve shows up. Yes. Know. Yeah, so um, my second question is, um, why, why online? Why did you decide to choose online? I guess, online? you know, interesting. It's a very interesting question because I tried online before, which means that I'm someone who likes to do a lot of crafts and, and DIYs. And, and I even finished in this quest in search of what is it that I can do, right? Yeah. I. So I finished for a fitness instructor, but everything pretty much nowadays, whatever you do, if you're not online, you are nowhere almost, yeah, right? Definitely. Like whatever yeah. you do, it has to, like you have to be to a certain degree, you have to be present online. So it just so happened that this business that we found and that we both really, really love and appreciate is entirely online, yes. right? Yes. So it just yeah. I think it just it's you go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, the the whole situation with last year really kind of like escalates, you know, a lot of you know businesses going Even online. More. Yes. And you know, like you said, if you're not if you don't have an online presence, it's like you're nowhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And uh whoever so is watching sense. today, so sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it just makes sense, right? Yeah. It just yeah. makes sense to appear really uh, online, and uh, it, it, it's not even forced. It's just feels natural by now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, not yeah. ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I would say ten years ago. You know, if someone say, um, you know, you're Cell doing phone. something online, everything <laughs> is just oh, it's scam, it's scam, it's scam, and all exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. You know? 
But these days with uh, what happened last year has opened a lot of people's eyes to know that, yeah. I mean, you need a side hustle. If exactly. you have a, you know, whether you have a job or you don't have a job, you need something that you need to do extra. Exactly. You know, to, to generate income, because if you don't, if you don't have, it's, it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult. And the easiest way people could start up something today is yeah. being online. I was going to say that because really yeah. the overhead, everything that you have, it's so much easier to set it up. What do you really need? We, most of us, we all have a phone. Maybe we have one, at least one computer in a house. Yeah. And we all have some type of an internet, either through the phone data or we have yeah. internet in the house. And it just completely, it's so easy. You don't have to go look for a place to rent it. You don't have to think <laughs> you have to buy chairs and desks and whatnot. Yeah, sit on your couch, true. you know, and <laughs> sit with the laptop and work. So it's that's true. That's it's true. Easy. And that reminds me today we're gonna be having our um online yeah. workshop. Yes. So um for those who are still on the fence who have not taken that step, uh today is an opportunity for you to see live. Exactly. How this business is changing lives in this uh, community of uh, business owners. So join us. People. I'm going to put the link mm -hmm. for you guys to join us in the uh, go live. To uh, sorry, the uh, online workshop today. Yes. Yeah. So my third question is: um, What is the one thing you'd like to see come to pass or achieve in this business as part of your bucket list? So it's somehow it ties to your first question as the reason why, you know, I have yes. decided to do this really. It's to spend more time with the kids and with the family because my eldest just turned 18 and, and you, it kind of oh, hits you like, a, thank you. <laughs> it kind of hits you like a, a cold shower, right? You're <laughs> like, where did the time go, right? That's but true. then. When again, when they're small, you think you have a lot of time. Well, there it goes. 18 years have passed and I'm still working full time. Now I'm working on this part time to make it full time. But just like any yeah. other business, you have to make it work gradually. Right. And then do that transition. Yeah. But really, for me, that would be I could say I have two, which is the second one would be to hopefully retire early which is yeah. the same thing, just retire early, not to stop working, but to be able to spend more time with the family at the terms yeah. that I want to spend time with the family and work when it suits me. That's true. So That's more true. time, I guess. Yeah. 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 That is having time for your family, doing things that you love to do. Yes. You know, doing things in your own terms, not in, you know, somebody saying, oh, you have to be here at this certain time, you know, Exactly. Nine to five or eight to four, or whatever they call it. Yeah, yeah. In actual fact, you know, like I always say, we are all looking for, we say we're looking for uh, financial freedom, but actually what we're looking for is time freedom. Time freedom, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If, because if you have sense. the finance, you know, you have the, all the time in the world. If you have the time, yourself. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. And my fourth question is, uh, what would you say to anyone that is you know, looking to start up an online business or someone who is skeptical about going into online business? I would, I think, well, you know, number one is being informed. So uh, educated decision, like if you make a decision with enough information is always a good decision. Because like I've always had friends that ask me, how do I know if my decision is correct? And I would say just, take up on the facts that you have at that moment, make a decision. It's always a good decision at the time when you're making it based on the facts that you have collected. Yeah. And if down the road it turns out, well, actually I want to change my mind, then you change your mind based on the new facts that you have and new proofs that you have. So I would say it is true. It's not for everybody because you have to be online and maybe not everybody feels comfortable being online, but really doing your own research because you know yourself you know what yeah. you need so go out yeah. there ask questions because i will is there and the whole community is there we're there ask questions like you know we're always encouraged at any job that we get they always say you know especially when you're new and you're a trainee and and they will always say no question is a stupid question ask yeah. questions and and then decide based on that no pressure really 
yeah it's fun yeah. <laughs> you're losing yeah. on a lot <laughs> <laughs> like yeah that's true even even the uh the workshop that we're going to be having today you know there's opportunity for people to ask questions exactly. you know, whatever you don't understand there's always a moderator to answer your questions yeah for those who are thinking will i be able to ask ask questions yeah and you then with the updates that we have, you know, that that we discuss in, in, in within our community, I don't know if that function still is there. I know that there was discussions that they may take that out for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But if if that function is not available during the workshop, we are here. Yes. You know, like take a pen and a paper, write it down and get back to Will, to us, to whomever, there, there, we're a huge, you know, community, and anyone is able to give answers. So, yeah, right, yeah, well, definitely, definitely. Questions is the key. Great. <laughs> and my final question is, um, what's your favorite pastime activities? Ah, <sighs> interesting. I know. Yes. So, um, I know you're very creative, but <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I do have. I do have a lot of things I love doing right now. I'm into uh, reading a lot and learning more about anything that has to do with, with mindfulness. And not everybody yeah. likes that that word. So that is my favorite pastime. And I'm online and I'm on my phone. And, you know, so that's my new thing. Yeah. But besides the and that's part of the business, right? But besides that, I really love doing crafting. I, I'm discovering gardening because I never had a garden, so I'm discovering gardening. I love spending time with friends and with the family and with the kids. And it's just that it's, sometimes it's so sad it hurts me because I can't spend as much time with my kids as I would like to. But, you know, so I love food. <laughs> Everybody loves food. <laughs> so I cooking, I don't have time for cooking, but I love cooking, right? So it's really uh, shopping, you know. There are a lot yeah. of things. I'm never bored. I never just sit still. But uh... well, I would say you are in the right business. Like I always tell my um, my guests. Yeah. You know, it's just a matter of time because everyone that has been in this business that. I would say over one year, two years, they've mm -hmm. all quit their jobs. That is for those that would love to quit their jobs, except those that really love their job. They don't want to quit. You know, they are yes. the ones still working. But, you know, for those who have been in the business two, three years, they've all quit their jobs. So that yeah, time will come. Exactly. That time will come. Well, we'll you know, we'll say goodbye to you. are there, exactly. Nine to five. <laughs> As we say in French, on a sous le schéma, you know, yeah, we're on the yeah. right path, you know, we'll get there. But because like That's anything true. else, like whatever you open, even if you, because my husband always wanted to open a restaurant and I was mm -hmm. telling him, I said, okay, like you want freedom, but you want to open a restaurant. Like the restaurant pretty much doesn't sleep, That's right? <laughs> Which the reason it's not good is because you as an owner, you have to be physically there all the time. You yes. have to be up. You have to, there's so much, and it takes time to build it. So like yeah. any other business takes That's time true. to build it. But with the restaurant, you cannot leave either. He wants a farm. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> I want to have a farm, but then I'm not <laughs> going to have a freedom to possibly travel. That's true. And with this online business is really the freedom it gives to us is, again, I'm going to say it's a cliche, but it's 100% true. You take your laptop, you fold it, you put it in your backpack, you take your phone, you take your cables, your mouse, if you have like, you know, <laughs> a wireless yeah. mouse and you go. That's true. And, and, and you find a place where you have internet, really. And, and that's it. Whereas you can't take the cows with you and the horses and yeah, yeah, <laughs> the whole yeah. kitchen and the restaurant, <laughs> right? Unless you're a sports billy, but very uh, true, very true. <laughs> that's true. That's right? that's okay. one thing I really like about being online, you know. That's that's the ultimate. I mean, mm -hmm. in our generation, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 years from now, there might be something that is better than the internet, but for now, this is the best way to go. Have an yes, online business exactly. that you can carry anywhere with you. I agree too. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And there are a lot of other ones out there. But once you do the research, which I still, I'm, I'm a curious person. So here and there, I just get informed. I really want to be sh still sure 
what is it that we offer because we need to know how we what's out there so that what people see so we can yeah. have the conversation with them and there are so many things out there it's just it's unlimited and that's why it's important to really do your own research and find what's good for you this is perfect for us i love it i'm not going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> you know great so. great great thank you so much for being with me today uh, do you thank have any you. final words for our audience you know what <sighs> I don't know. I just get goosebumps. It's the community is amazing. I don't know if I mean we're all humans, but we are such. Um, I think we say like-minded, right? Yeah. Like all of us are so. It's uh, there are no words to really describe it. There is. I don't think anyone who joins here can regret it because. Yes. The growth that we get, the support that we get. The, the, there, there are so many benefits that it's just really just I, I, I would encourage just come check it out, see it, you love it, you will be happy. If Definitely. you don't, well, then that's fine. It's human nature. We are all unique and different. So yeah, but it Great. would be nice to see you. <laughs> I mean, who's wanting to check it out? So yeah, awesome, awesome. Thank you so and much for having me. Word of wisdom. I just want to say uh, a few people are watching from us, some from uh, someone from South Africa, someone wow. from Montreal. So uh, yes, yeah, I hi. miss South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Cape Town and Port Elizabeth and Pretoria. Nice, so pretty. nice, cool. Thanks everyone for watching and for those I'll be watching the replay. Thanks, uh, Andrea, for taking no the worries. time to be with me today. I appreciate Thank your you. time. It was a pleasure. Take care, yeah. everyone. And we'll talk again some other time. We will for sure. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. All right, guess, guys, that's my guest for today. I, you know, want to thank you for your time. And um, you can, you know, hear her story, you know, how she started and the encouragement that she has given us, you know, in this uh, in this era. Yeah, I mean, being online is is the ultimate. You know, anyone that's thinking of starting a business, if you're not thinking of online, um, rethink that business, rethink that business. So we're encouraging you, join us today, be part of uh, this global community of business owners. Um, there are so many lives that have been transformed every single day, every single day, literally every single day. So join us um, in our workshop today. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. PST. Join us and I believe you're not going to regret it. It's just 90 minutes of your time. That's all it takes. And you thank yourself later. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll talk to you soon. William signing out. Bye for now.